what is going on fellow game developers my name is muddy wolf and in the last video we built this top down a little guy who will face towards the mouse and move around inside of godot in this video we are going to be adding in a gun for him to actually shoot and also some bullets uh, so obviously he can shoot the gun otherwise it'd be a pretty useless gun without bullets so without further ado let's just get straight into it so the first thing we want to do is we want to create a gun position for our our, um, our little player here so what we're gonna do is get a new node and we're gonna get a node 2d now this one we're just gonna rename to gun and we're just gonna turn on the move mode up here and move it in front of our player now I suggest just throwing him somewhere in front the next thing we need to do is actually create our bullet so what we want to do is go up to the top left and actually click create a new scene now in our new scene what we want to do is create a new other node and look for a rigid body 2d because it's what a bullet is going to be based on i'm going to rename that to bullet and then we are going to give this our capsule collider here so just drop in the capsule collider and make sure the capsule collider's transform is at 0 0.25 i'm just going to reset the position oh and if you're using your own sprites by the way you may not have to change this i just change it for the fact of changing it i'm going to rotate the bullet 90 degrees as well just so it's facing along the x axis rename this to gfx standing for graphics just so it's easier to understand and then in visibility we're going to change the color of the bullet to be a yellow color so i'm just going to change this to a nice looking yellow uh oh change this back to select mode and there you go the next thing we want to do is add a collision shape 2d and we're going to select capsule shape and you can see it's actually looking well wrong so let's click on this and let's change this first off let's rotate this by 90 degrees so it's on the actual x-axis and then let's change the radius to something like four and the height to 16 and there you go you can see that perfectly matches our bullet what i'm going to do is just bring this above our bullet just so the collision shape is behind it we can then hit save and save this into our entities and click save now back on our player on our gun script what we can do is actually start scripting our gun so first thing i want to do is right click our uh, gun script and hit attach script we're going to make sure we're in c sharp and we're just going to change the location of this to be in our scripts folder name it gun.cs and hit create then we can open this up and it's going to open up in visual studio code for me and there we go we should be able to get intellisense now so i'm just going to use the export variable here to get a few different variables so we're going to have export a packed scene which we are going to call our bullet scene or bullet scene we're then going to have enough export for a float which is going to be our bullet speed which we're going to set to a default of 600 f we'll then export another float called our bullets per second or bps which we are going to set to five bullets per second this is how fast or how many bullets you'll shoot at once we then want a final flow called damage or bullet damage um, which we will set to 30 we then want a float which is going to be our fire rate so once we've got that we want to do a public void override void ready and here we want to set our fire rate to be equal to one divided by our bullets per second we then want one more flow under here called time until fire and this can be by default zero this is going to be our timer for how long until we can actually fire again so what we need now is a function or sorry a so what we need now is a public void and um, a public override void which we are going to have process uh, and then we need to pass in the double delta here and then we need to check if our input dot is action just pressed we're going to look for the click method and time 
until fire is greater than our fire rate, then we can actually shoot. And then we want to actually get a, a node 2D, which is going to be our bullet, which we're going to set to bullet scene dot instantiate. We then want to get our bullet dot rotation and set that equal to the global rotation. We then want to set our bullets dot global position equal to the current guns global position. So we're currently getting the guns rotation and position and making sure the bullet is facing our gun. We then want our bullet dot linear velocity to be equal to bullet dot transform dot x times our actual bullet speed now this will give us our bullet speed and then we want to set our bullet so we then want to get tree dot root dot add child and then we are going to add our bullet to the scene we then want to reset our time until fire is back to zero otherwise if we are not pressing and the um, fire rate is not set we want to set our time until fire is plus equal to delta and we need to cast our delta to a float because currently it is a double so using a cast will transform this into a float so now if we go back to our go dot scene so guys don't forget to come down to ms build if you're working in c sharp and hit build and build project so it actually shows up your um new script the changes you've made in your script and what we want to do in here is actually select our um bullet scene from our entities and drop it into our bullet scene now we should be able to hit play and once this all builds and now you can see we can actually shoot bullets but they're they're falling down they're being affected by gravity and that's not what we want so back in our scene we want to go back to our bullet scene and make sure our gravity scale is on zero for our bullets we can also do with locking the rotation of the bullet because this will stop it from actually this will stop it from rotating after it hits something we can also turn on contact monitor and set it the max contact reported to one this way we can actually detect when the bullet hits something which is something we're going to want to do so now let's hit play again and see how our bullet reacts there you go now our bullets are flying straight as since uh, uh, as expected in a top-down game and you can see we can only shoot doesn't matter how quick i click my button we can only shoot at a certain pace but one issue we're going to have is the more we shoot the more bullets that are going to spawn and the slower our game is going to get because they're not actually being deleted the bullets are just forever flying off into the distance so to fix that we want to create a timer node to our bullet so let's just drop in this timer node we want to set it to one shot auto start and set a lifetime of our bullets i'm going to set this to two seconds but you may want to change this i'll probably tweak this later as well this is how long our bullet will live before it actually dies then we want to actually add a bullet script to our uh, bullet here so we're going to attach a new c sharp bullet script again move the script into the scripts folder what we want to do is go back to our bullet script and we want to actually get a reference to this so we need a public override void called ready and in here we want to create a new timer called timer which we're going to set to get node and we're going to pass in timer and give it the name of timer because that's what's going to be in our bullet then we want to say timer dot time out is plus equal to an arrow function and this way once our bullet has gone over the time it will actually destroy itself and there you go you can see if i shoot a bunch of bullets they all disappear before they go off screen which means it's now working so we now have a working bullet
In the next video, guys, we're going to add in an enemy who is going to try and attack us and destroy us. We'll also implement a health script as well as also allowing us to do damage to the enemy. So if you're excited for that, don't forget to leave a thumbs up on this video. Smash that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.